Hello there, in this video I want to compare Vanguard and Overeaters legendary effects to figure out what's better to use, meanwhile you're so welcome to like this video and subscribe to my channel, thank you in advance. I've crafted few sets of armor to see the difference between two effects when the base damage resistance is very low or very high. As you can see here is level 1 laser armor with overeaters or vanguard legendary mod. In this case it is not so clear what's better, right? But Secret Service provides us with epic damage resistance. I didn't mod laser armor, so it has basic stats and my damage resistance is zero. So if I equip the first set I will have 8 damage resistance. And let's check Vanguard set. In this case, 183. Wow. And uh, let's do the same, but with Secret Service armor. First goes over Eaters. Turn, 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 turn. And uh, 327. Great. And Vanguard. 502. Oh, I can boost it even more with shielded secret servers under armor, plus 15. Barbarian will give me additional, in this case, 60 damage resistance. And uh, another perk uh, is called evasive, right? Yeah, it is. Junk shield will be helpful as well. But actually, I need some junk. And uh, I will grab some fertilizer. Something like this, more than 50 units. Lucas Dokis, and let's check. Now I have uh, 672, and I can boost it even more with Scaly Skin Mutation. It will give me additional 50 damage and energy resistance. Great. But first, I will test my level 1 laser armor. Okay, over eaters, 8 damage resistance, but 30% damage reduction. Let me quickly check my stats. And uh, here we go. 314 hit points. Look is the keys. Brotherhood of Steel, take it! Let's see how fast they will kill me. Here go the stats, and here we go. They use two different weapons. One does 33 damage per hit, and another one 25-24, as you can see. Now I will do the same, but with Vanguard armor. And what's the difference? I really want to know. So, ladies and gents, 314 hit points, and I'm ready to get killed. I receive half of the damage, 16 instead of 33, and 12 instead of 24. But my damage resistance goes down, and before I die, we can see that overeaters actually work. The damage is calculated very differently. Check the video if you want to know how. You're the Knight Errant, right? That is how Vanguard works. If your health drops below 50%, Vanguard says ciao completely. You must heal yourself up constantly. No radiation damage is welcome. Of course, you will not lose your hit points that fast. I just want to show you how it works overall. Now I will have damage resistance way higher and damage reduction provided only by overeaters effect. The difference between two weapons is not that big. Let's suppose that the first gun deals 8 damage and the second 5. Which is 4 or 5 times lower than before. So having high damage resistance pays off. I actually tried to verify this table a year ago and I got the same numbers for physical damage. Maybe Bethesda changed something. I'm not sure, because wiki was updated, or maybe wiki guys made everything a little bit more clear. So, what about Vanguard? As you can see, there is no big difference between 700 damage resistance and 525. I mean, basically, that is the buff he got by using the full set of armor with this legendary mod, Vanguard. It gives us uh, additional 175 damage resistance, right? Instead of 16 damage, they deal 10, and instead of 12, they deal 7. So, ladies and gents, if we go back to the already mentioned table, we can see that there is no big difference between 250 damage resistance and 1k. 
Therefore, there is no need to improve it. I mean, damage resistance with Vanguard, Bolstering, Nocturnal and other crappy legendary mods. If your armor provides you mm, with 250 damage resistance. So, how to become the big papa of Appalachia? You clearly can use some damage reduction perks. Under Charisma it would be Lone Wanderer, but I think you will be playing in teams, right? So maybe it is not very very good. <laughs> yeah, and uh, under Agility Dodge, for example. By the way, melee damage is more dangerous, so it's better to go with uh, Blocker. So, if I have 500 damage resistance, uh, here we go. The damage income drops down even more, way more. Over eaters for power armor is just the way to become immortal. Now I'm using Vanguard armor and they deal half damage as well. But as you can see, between over eaters and Vanguard, uh, you'd better go with damage reduction. But what about armor that doesn't provide you with 500 damage resistance? Let's try 300. This is a full set of marine armor, arctic marine armor, 317 damage resistance and the vanguard version gives us uh, how much? 492. So if you go without additional perks, they deal 2 free damage uh, with one weapon, yes, and 6 uh, with another gun. But just in case, I've changed server. Well, well, well. Here everything is clear, let's try Vanguard. And Vanguard does sucky sucky. And what if I try the Wanderer and Dodgy? Wait a little bit. Hey. Don't show me anything. Kiss the kiss and here's the result. Two times less damage. And back to overeaters. One, 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 three, one, one. So, if you are full health build, just go with overeaters. Cause even if you are starving, there will be no difference between two legendary mods. Well, in the next video I continue to do some tests, please help me with a like, cause uh, we are not done yet. I want to say big thank you for watching, I will see you later, bye 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 bye.